My name's Hayden Suzuka, Project Manager for the uh, New Brighton Pier Earthquake Repairs um, for Fulton Hogan. Um, so the, the scope of works we've got here, um, we've got uh, 17 columns um, which will require repair as a result of the 2010 and 2011 earthquakes. What we're tasked with doing um, is tunnelling down, um, exposing the effective area um, which is the, uh, the plastic hinge. Um, that's the area which the column's designed to flex under seismic load. Exposing that area, um, installing a five metre long pile jacket and then filling it with, uh, with grout. I'm Sam from Ally Concrete and uh, we're here at the New Brighton Pier. We're supplying concrete here to Fulton Hogan who are doing the earthquake repairs. It's obviously a pretty exciting project for us to be involved in. An iconic structure here in Christchurch. A couple of unique challenges from a concrete supplier's point of view here. Number one is access. So what we've been needing to do is a, a relay pour from one truck that's located on the beach. Uh, then he has to pump up into a mini mixer located on the pier. That's because there's a weight restriction on the uh, access ramp up to the pier. The mini mixer is allowed on the ramp. He's under the 10 ton weight limit when he's empty, but not when he's got any concrete on. Uh, then the mini mixer will drive along the pier, discharges into another concrete pump. Uh, he then pumps the concrete down and into the steel jacket uh, that's being filled with concrete. The marine environment creates additional challenges for a concrete mix design. However, using our R&D facilities, our highly experienced technical team developed a custom mix design to meet the stringent performance criteria required by the Christchurch City Council who specified this job. For the mix design, we had to achieve quite a few targets that they set. Firstly, it's a high strength concrete mix, so 60 megapascals is the target strength. Uh, it also has to be a self-compacting concrete mix. That's because of the tight working environment around the column under the pier. So we designed it as a self-compacting mix, so it doesn't require any uh, external vibration or compaction. It has to incorporate silica fume, um, so that makes the concrete more durable, less porous, and, and will make it last at least 100 years in a marine environment. 